Good morning. Once again, I am Professor K. V. Hirveda here to discuss about the concept of human learning and intelligence, especially for second semester B. Ed. students. In my last period, I just uh, discussed about the concept of family, especially which factors influencing on learning. So I am here today to discuss about the concept of school. Dear students, see, it has been found. out that the pupils difficulty in learning may be due to many factors within the child himself or herself i have these factors to discuss the first one is called intellectual factor so that this term refers to an individual mental level and success in the specially school is generally closely related to the level of the intellect so pupils just with a low intelligence often encounter serious difficulty in the mastering school work sometimes people do not learn because of special intellectual disabilities a low score in the specially subject had just and it has score is in the other subjects indicate that the possible presence of a special deficiency and the psychology reveals to use that an individual possess different kinds of intelligence knowledge of the nature of the pupils intellect is of considerable value in the guidance and even the diagnosis of disability so the native capacity of an individual is a uh, of prime importance in a determining of effectiveness of the learning process so my second concept is here is that's called learning factors so the factors owing the lack of mastery of which has been taught faculty method of work or study and narrowness of experimental background may affect the learning process of any pupil so if the school proceeds too rapidly and that does not uh, constantly check up the extent to which the pupil is mastering what is being taught so the pupil accumulates a number of deficiencies that interfere with a successful progress so in uh, arithmetic for uh, instance knowledge of a basic addition is essential to successful work in the multiplication weakness in the addition will contribute directly to the deficiency in multiplication which which which, which likely wise failure in history may due to low reading ability or weakness in english so similarly because of the of faculty interaction especially that's faculty instruction so the pupil may have learned interface methods of study which many other kinds of difficulty which are directly related to the learning factors may interfere with the progress so the my third concept is physical factors and this group specially are included such facts like health physical development nutrition visual and physical defects and even glandular abnormality so it is generally recognized that the ill health retards physical and motor development and specially this is malnutrition interferes with the learning and even physical growth of course the children suffering from visual audition and other physical defects are seriously handicapped in developing skills such as reading and spelling it has been uh, demonstrated that the various glands of internal secretion such as uh, thyroid and even uh, uh, what do you call that pituitary glands affects behavior so that health of the learner will likely affect his ability or her ability to learn and his or her power of concentrate so the next concept is here mental factors so attitude falls under the mental factors attitudes are made up of organic and even kinesthetic elements so they they, they, they are not be confused with the emotions that are characterized by the internal Lateral distributions, especially attitudes, are more or less a definite sort. So they play a large part of uh, maybe in the mental organization and even the general behavior of the individual. 
so that means the attitudes are also important in the development of a personality and so especially among these attitudes uh our interest uh, cheerfulness affections especially prejudice and uh, ever open mindedness and uh, loyalty attitude uh, exercises very stimulating effect upon the rate of learning and even teaching and upon the progress especially in the school so this efficiency of the work from a day to day and uh, even the rapidly which with the achieved are influenced by the attitude of the learner and just a favorable mental attitude facilitates learning so that that uh, factors of uh, interest is very closely related to the nature uh, to that uh, symbolically drive and even regard so the next one that is called a uh, fifth one is uh, called emotional and even social factors emotional and social factors so personal factors such as uh, instincts and emotions and social factors such as uh, cooperation and even uh, what do you call for that rivalry are directly related to the complex psychology of motivation so it is a recognized fact that the various uh, responses of the individual to various kinds of stimuli are determined by the weather variety of tendencies so some of these uh, innate tendencies are uh, constructive and other are harmful so for some reason a pupil may have developed a dislike for some subjects because uh, see he may fail to see its value or uh, may lack a uh, foundation so this dislike results in a bad emotional state some people some people are in a very what you call as continuing state of unhappiness because of their fear of being victims of uh, their disapproval of their teachers and even classmates so so this is an uh, unholy some attitude of uh, what do you call for the effects of learning process to considerable degree so this is uh, often time the result of bad training so the next one is called next and the last one is called the teacher's personality so especially the teacher the teacher as an individual personality is an important element especially in the learning environment or in the failure of success of a learner so that means the way in which his or her personality interacts with the personalities of a pupils being taught helps to determine the kind of behavior which emerges from the learning situation so the supreme value of a teacher is not in the regular performance of routine duties but in his power to lead and even inspire his or her pupils through the influence of his her moral personality and even example strictly speaking personality is a made up of all the factors that make an individual what actually he or she is so the complex pattern uh, characterizes uh, especially that uh, distinguish uh, him from or her from others his or her kind so personality is a product of many integrating forces in other words uh, an individual's personality is a composite of his physical appearance his mental capacity his emotional behavior and his attitudes towards others so effective teaching and learning are the result of an integrated personality of a teacher so with this just i concluded the factors which made influence on learning uh, uh, factors which are influencing on the learning especially for, uh, under the concept of school have a nice time once again i shall be there for you uh, to bring another concept in my next period